Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. So a big welcome to this episode of Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. My name is Nikki Shields. And I'm Jonathan Tilly. And today, rather excitingly, actually, on the podcast, we are talking about the superhero of high tech material for car making. Can you guess what we're talking about? Hmm. It's carbon fiber, of course. Yes. It's the expensive stuff that we all want on our cars. Um, <laughs> but to give you a bit of a better understanding of what carbon fiber really is, also how it's made, and of course, what the benefits are, why it is such a, a product that we all want, uh, we're going to go through all of that, aren't we? Exactly. And most definitely. And I think this is something that's so exciting because there's so many different facets to it, you know, how it's being made and the benefits of it. And really, it is the future. So, yes, for the people that are like, this is a little bit too technical for me. Once you get into this and learn more about it and how truly it has like these amazing superpowers, you're going to understand our enthusiasm. Like, uh, for example, carbon fiber, it's uh, one of those materials that's used to build cars whose importance is only going to increase in the future, right? It's lightweight. It has a really cool look. It's manufactured mostly by hand, which I think is really awesome. Designers absolutely love it for interior, add-on parts, pure carbon, part carbon, carbon or a carbon fiber wrap for a car. I mean, it is just classy. It's sporty and it looks amazing. And not only designers that they love it, but also engineers love carbon as well yeah, because it guarantees this high strength and rigidity yeah. with, here we go, a low specific weight. That's the key, right? Yeah. And that means speed. And it also means exactly. expense. It's always on really expensive cars. So that's why we love exactly. carbon fiber. <laughs> but there is a little bit of bad news to this story, but I hope it doesn't, you know, diverge your, your attention away from the awesomeness of, of carbon fiber. The bad news is, is that it, it does require a long process to produce it, though. But that said, that's really the only downside. It's a beautiful and a valuable material, and it's sort of like the black gold of high-tech materials yeah, yeah, out yeah. there. It really is. I love that sort of the way of looking at it as the superhero uh, yeah. of, the, of the car manufacturing process. <laughs> um, but we'll kind of get into the details now. I think, you know, what actually is carbon fiber? We kind of talk yeah. about it. We know what it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can sort of look at a car and you can spot it quite quickly. It's the sort of, it's always that kind of the two-tone, dark gray, bit black, that kind of crisscrossy pattern. Mm. Um, And it can either be kind of raw, that sort of unpolished that you just maybe spy in the wheel arch, or it's maybe on the outside of the car or the interior of the car and it's nice and polished and finished. But what actually is it? So it's actually called, the official name is Carbon Fiber Reinforced Polymer. That is CFRP for short. But I don't know about you. I've never said or heard no. anyone say, hey, I love the CFRP on your car. Maybe the the, the real technical yeah, the experts. <laughs> uh, engineers out yeah. there exactly would say that. So that's the technical term. We're going to just stick with the loved term carbon fiber, uh, carbon which makes fiber. it easy for everyone and uh, for us too. But what is it? So carbon fiber has this really special mix because it's stable and really strong, but of course, it's also very, very lightweight. And when you're building a fast car, of course, you want to remove as much weight as possible. So really, this material is a perfect fit for automotive engineering. And actually, it's also used in aerospace engineering as well, the Mm -hmm. construction of aircrafts, boats and bicycles. So I think we kind of, you know, it was probably originally used um, in the automotive industry, but has been used in different industries because of that lightweight quality that it has. But just like in most materials, before it actually found its way, it was in racing before it became in mass production. So that's kind of where the origin of carbon fiber came from. Exactly. And, you know, with carbon fiber, we're talking about it, but maybe there might be some examples that our listeners might be like, oh, that's where the carbon fiber is on that model. So here's a couple examples of where you can see visible carbon fiber. The material used in roofs for M models, that's an example. The range of customization options with visible carbon fiber, I mean, it's huge. From the hood, through the design elements in the interior and the exterior to the diffuser, it's everywhere, right? Or carbon fiber structures for BMW M performance parts, like the actual parts, right? Or what about the 7 Series? Body components for the 7 Series are made of carbon fiber. Or the i8, carbon fiber was previously in the i8, but most notably in the i3, 
the entire My body. My favorite of yeah, it all, right? all the range. Yes. I mean, <laughs> Tell and me then, more. then you add the carbon fiber on top of it. You can't top it, right? The entire car body, the passenger cell, is made up entirely of carbon fiber. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. So, yeah. gosh, there's a huge amount of carbon fiber in the i3. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah, super cool. And, you know, even the iX, it's also going to benefit from this as well. So this is really amazing. Yeah, it's brilliant just to see the rollout of carbon fiber in so many more cars. Mm. And we get the benefit of that to enjoy driving them. Yes. Now, it sounds really common by now, but visible carbon parts are actually manufactured largely by hand. Mm. Now, obviously, anything done by hand is going to be very time consuming. Yep. It can actually take a whole day to produce just a single component because, of course, there's the preparation, the cutting. You've got to put it into the autoclave, heat it up to, you know, hundreds of degrees. You've got the demolding, the milling, the lacquering, and each stage takes a huge amount of time. So you can see why if you do have carbon parts, it can be quite costly. However, it does really guarantee an extremely high level of quality and of course, exclusivity as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we know how much effort is put into creating this carbon fiber, I'm sure everyone's wondering, well, what are the real benefits of carbon fiber? Why <laughs> would you put in so much effort into this material? But there are so many benefits, aren't there? Yeah, most definitely. You know, what makes this tiny fiber such a superhero, especially if it's so time consuming? Well, there's millions of benefits. We're not going to go into all of them, but just a little bit of a list of our top benefits for you. Here we go. One main thing is its high rigidity, which means it's extremely stable. And because of this stability, this rigidity that you can just really use it for anything, carbon fiber car parts, they absorb a ton of impact energy, right? So this is along the lines of safety, right? It's not just, oh, exclusive, it looks cool. This is like safety. So if you use the carbon fiber parts in the right places, it can help increase vehicle safety, which is what we're all about, right? And like we mentioned before, another benefit of carbon is its low specific weight. Body components made of aluminum, right? We all know aluminum and also steel, but aluminum, one of the most important light metals, it can weigh 20 to 30% more than a corresponding wow. element made of carbon, right? Yeah, so that's it's a already huge, huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah. And like I said, with steel, with steel, carbon can, can weigh 50% lighter than steel. So yes, aluminum, steel, we understand these concepts, but carbon is so much lighter, which means more speed, less weight, less fuel or electricity use. And that means a better carbon footprint yeah, as well. That's a very good point. Better for the and, environment. Yeah. You know, so the performance properties of sporty vehicles, they can be further increased as well through the use of carbon fiber. And I mean, it's a no brainer. The reason's simple. Lighter means faster. You want to go fast? Carbon fiber is the answer. I'd like to go fast, please, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> in the i3, I mean, come on. Exactly. You know, in Syria, I'm just, it's perfect. So that's why you can accelerate off the light so fast. I thought it was exactly. the battery doing all of that. Oh, no, not have been at all. Thanking it's my the carbon, carbon fiber. fiber cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are other huge advantages of carbon fiber, uh, millions of them, but I'm just going to list a couple more. The ability to produce parts in almost any desired shape, so designers and engineers can just go wild. Or Nikki, you can redo the kitchen, yeah, exactly. and, right? <laughs> I'm going to start googling. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a company out there that makes like really cool carbon fiber objects. I mean, it would probably be the most expensive kitchen table you've ever yep. bought, but <laughs> but hey. It's exclusive. Exactly. It's one of a kind. It's state of the art. <laughs> um, it's also corrosion resistant, which is also good for longevity. It's low thermal expansion, and it's also long lasting temperature resistance and fatigue strength. And now all these benefits, they outweigh that one disadvantage that I said before, that the production of carbon fiber is labor intensive, but, you know, it's kind of worth it. You know, if it's going to be lasting so long and has all these benefits, you're going to invest the time to create the carbon fiber products. And with the cost of carbon fiber falling with larger quantities and advancing innovations, this is going to speed up as well. It's going to be mass produced and... I keep saying it, carbon fiber is the future. Yeah, well, that's great if the cost of it is coming down, because I think that's obviously always been a bit of a, a barrier to entry because yeah. it has been, if it's labor expensive, it's going to be costly to produce. But well, fingers crossed that means we're going to see it in cars every day on our roads and not just on exactly. the special supercars. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, really, actually thinking about it, there isn't another material besides carbon fiber that, you know, could 
take its place that can be used in such a yeah. weight saving manner, but also, of course, offering the same advantages, you know, like we mentioned around safety and innovations in reducing carbon footprint and reducing the weight of your car. So really, it's a very, it's a very special, special material. Um, and on top of that, as shown in the BMW M performance parts, it's invisible carbon. Now that just looks so cool. I love it, particularly on the inside. Like when you see it inside around the dashboard, it just always looks absolutely beautiful. Exactly. Um, so uh, yeah, fingers crossed. One day, one day, Jonathan, we'll have a car One like day, <laughs> exactly. And you know, if people see it online or if people actually get into like a car that has it or you can you, you can recognize and go, oh, that's carbon fiber. You have a connection to it. You've learned more about it today, which is really cool. And that's why it's the superhero of a material that we are definitely going to be seeing a lot more of in the future. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Well, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Changing Lanes and hearing all about our superhero of a material. <laughs> Carbon fiber, exactly. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to our podcast for future episodes as well. And also for a deeper dive into all things at BMW, do head over to bmw.com to learn more. I'm Jonathan Tilly. And I'm Nikki Shields. And this has been Changing Lanes. See you next time. 